My um, role as a preacher has been pretty clear. Uh, with the number of preachers who were going to preach today, I didn't need to do much of that. My job was to come forward and to tell you when we were starting and to pray, and then to come in at the end and let you know when we were done and pray. And as a preacher, there were plenty of us up here. But as a pastor, I want to just help make sure you know the gift you've been given. So that when I close the service out and you go, what now? I think it's pretty obvious. It's not your job to fill that coat and that hat. God put somebody else on earth to do that. When God made Leon Russell, God broke the mold because God only wanted Le one Leon Russell. But when God made you, God broke the mold as well. Because those who are so neon at living out their life are to enable us to be able to live out our lives. And when you discover your music, your song, what you have that the world needs, the stage gets bigger. Because those people who understand who they're supposed to be make room for lots of people on stage. I don't even understand how it's possible to have that many people on stage and still have music, but that takes one, I mean, I'm, an, uh, I'm just a listener, but to have that many people on stage takes somebody who is very comfortable in their hat, their coat, and their skin, no matter how those hats and coats changed over the years. But that's how you know when you've discovered how you're going to be the one God needs for you to be to be comfortable with the silence between the notes. We aren't very comfortable with silence, and so we fill our world with noise and we make little music. To be comfortable with the silence is to understand how the song goes. To make music from nothing is where the beauty is. To know when one song ends so that another can begin. That's how you write a lot of songs. You don't just never let the song end. You let it go, and then you let other people sing it. To be able to sing the song for the one, a song for you, enables you to sing a song for many. But that's our job. You don't have to sing a song for a million, but there's somebody who needs your song or your story or your words or your prayer in a way that only you can give. And that's the song you have to do for somebody. That's the life you have to live for somebody. Not over many years, but just one song, one day, one moment at a time. And I tell you, if ever we needed it, it's time we all picked up that vision and look over the rainbow and be able to tell others what we see because all we hear publicly today is a vision of nightmare. All we hear is the shadow of death, and we can't see beyond that shadow. So some people have to shine that light for us. Some people have to look beyond that rainbow and see what the other side looks like and tell us it's going to be okay. In fact, more than that, it's going to be wonderful. And that's what this singer did. And to start with Psalm 23 and the person who wrote it, I want to end with it. Because I want to point you out something that there weren't metrical changes back then that you could just change a key and everybody would notice what you're saying. But in this psalm, there's a big change. In the beginning, God is third person. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. But when it gets darkest, when you can't see beyond the shadow, God is closest. And the psalmist says, you. I will fear no evil for you are with me. God is closer in that darkest time until you can see that light and then you realize all along that the dark was just something that just kept you from seeing. This is a song you know the words to. So I invite you to say it with me. I'm using the old King James Version, though it was written long before English was in, in the original Hebrew, but that wouldn't make sense to any of us. So you know the words. Say it with me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me 
in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. God, in this life, we give you thanks for those who are larger than life so that we can go back into our lives and be large. We thank you for those who bring a song for each of us so that we may go and share our songs with others. We thank you for those who fully live out the life that they are given so that we might fully live out our lives and make room for so many others to do the same. Because then the party gets bigger. And that's what you wanted for us from the beginning. And that's why you send us the artist so that we might live out your dream for the world and might share not just your amazing grace with one another, but that amazing love. Amen.